Bible. Just take a moment to worship the Lord in the prayer language of the Spirit. Just speak in other tongues. And know that when we do so, the Holy Spirit helps us to, to worship the Father in the words that he loves, in the language that he loves. Amen. Unmute yourself if you can in a quiet place and you know you're, you're not going to be subject to interferences. Just go ahead and let's worship the Lord in the prayer language of the spirit. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what a wonderful opportunity you have given to us to gather in your presence. We appreciate your love. We appreciate your care. We appreciate, Lord, that you are, are determined to see our children delivered, rescued, and and. Uh, and lifted up even in this generation <laughs> glory be to god if you are there and you can to Kuriana, the preacher says was in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 it says now all has been heard here is the conclusion of the matter this is the conclusion of the matter brothers and sisters Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 it says fear God keep his commandment for this is the duty of all of mankind we're here to pray for our children and we are looking at what the word of God says is the is the summation of the duty of mankind the Bible says it is so that you will fear God or you will revere God or you will worship God and you will keep his 
his commandment or you will please him you live a life that is pleasing to him tonight we want to begin to pray for our children so that in the name of jesus they begin to align with this conclusion of the matter. The Bible says, when all has been heard, the conclusion of the matter is this, fear God, keep his commandment, because this is the whole duty of man. I want you to pray for every child in your care, that in the name of Jesus, they begin to align with this, with this conclusion, begin to align with the worship of the Father, with the service of the Father, with the pleasing of the Father. This is the whole duty of man. If you have achieved anything, if you have become the first person to land on Mars or land on Jupiter, and but you do not worship God, but you do not please God, then you have not met, you have not met the requirement of the whole duty of man, and that is why even even though we like for our children to succeed in every area, but we want to get this one right that in their relationship with the Lord they will come into a thriving, healthy relationship with the Lord in the name of Jesus. It's almost like I sound like a broken record every time we pray for for their spiritual journey because it is the most important the bible says what does it profit a man if he will gain everything if he becomes the best pilot if he becomes the best neurosurgeon if he becomes the best president or prime minister yet he loses his own soul oh he has lost indeed and so that is why we know that there is a second death awaiting those who will not receive jesus as their lord and savior but because we are praying parents we are praying aunties we are praying custodians of God's property. We are aligning them with the whole duty of man. Tonight, the Bible says in, in Acts chapter 16 that the jailer said to Paul, what can I do? What must I do to be saved? The jailer, Paul said to the jailer, all you need to do is to believe on the Lord Jesus and you have the promise that you and your household will be saved. If you have believed on the Lord Jesus, it, uh, brothers and sisters, this is the place where you can hold on to that word and say, surely all the children that you have given to me, they will be saved, that they will be saved. Therefore, we begin to clear every everything in their, in their vicinity that is keeping them from receiving the salvation of our Lord Jesus, or everything in their vicinity that is distracting them from a thriving relationship so that they're not Christians by title, but they are Christians in spirit and in deed, hallelujah, and in truth. Unmute yourself and let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus that their lives will begin to be, break free of every influence that is anti the Christ. Thank you. 
preacher said in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 it says remember now your creator in the days of your youth this is particularly interesting for those of us whose children are in that are much younger who are two students are still in nursery or primary school and then and, and it seems like oh everything is sweet the lord the lord jesus the bible says let them remember the lord in the days of their youth before the days become difficult before difficult days come and the years draw near when you say i have no place pleasure in them. There is a time in, 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 in everybody's life when it becomes difficult to choose the Lord because there are so many options begin to show up. But this, but this day we are standing in agreement with the word of God and we align our children with the whole duty of man, which is the desire and a pursuit for God, a hunger and a pursuit for God in the name of Jesus, that their hearts will beat for the Lord. Hallelujah. Their cravings will be for the Lord in the name of Jesus. We we, we, we we silence every voice, every contrary voice speaking into their life, speaking in their direction, causing them to be distracted or derailed in any shape, form or fashion. In the name of Jesus, we minister to them the power of the Holy Spirit that causes them to remember the Lord. Jesus said when the Holy Ghost he will, comes, he will, he will remind you. The Holy Ghost is a reminder. And so we, 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 we deploy the ministry of the Holy Spirit into the lives of all of our children so that it continues to remind them. It continues to remind them to remember the Lord. It continues to remind them of the Lord, even from their youth, so that like Samuel, they have an encounter with the Lord Jesus from their youth. Hallelujah. So that like David, they encounter the Lord even from, from way much younger as a teenager. It is good to remember the Lord in the days of your youth, even without reading the scriptures. You just need to look at your own life. If you started early and say, ah, for me, I say, I'm grateful that I got to know the Lord in the days of my youth. I want you to begin to pray that that which you experienced as a young person, uh, that, that zeal with which you serve the Lord as a young person, that such a zeal will be multiplied many times over in the lives of your children in the name of Jesus. Someone says, I guess, I, but I didn't have that experience. Just go ahead and pray it into the lives of the children in your care. Or meet yourself one more minute. We're talking about their spiritual life, that they'll be filled Baba. with the craving and the desire, a hunger and a zeal that is accompanied with an undeniable encounter in the name of the Lord Jesus. I speak into lives an encounter with the Lord Jesus, Sakaria, 
in revelations chapter 12 the bible says in verse 5 she gave birth to a son who was to rule all nations with an iron rod and her child was snatched away from the dragon and was caught up to god and to his throne the previous verse tells us that the dragon was waiting for that child to be born so that it could devour it so that it could tear it apart i want you to know that like jesus said that you you you, you satan has asked for of you that's what jesus said to peter then satan has made request for you but i have prayed for you oh there is a there, there is the ministry of a, of dragon that is waiting for that child to be snatched away from from you and from god and he had, but but like jesus we stand to say that we have prayed we are praying and therefore according to verse 5 of romans chapter uh, revelation chapter 12 our children they are caught up to the throne of god in the name of jesus oh go ahead and do the snatching and say in the name of jesus you dragon i come against you by the blood of the lord jesus i come against you by the blood of the lord jesus the bible says in verse 11 of revelation chapter 12 he says they overcame him by the blood of the lamb we overcome every expression of the dragon by the blood of the lamb some of those expressions are come in the form of addictions of all kinds of addictions to 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 anti anti-christ uh, uh, activities addictions to pornography addiction to immorality addiction to uh, uh, to drugs and alcohol addiction to 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 immoral living anti-christ lifestyle choices every such addiction we come against by the blood we snatch our children from the dragons of addiction so this morning this evening wherever you are raise the temple of your intercession and say i come by the blood i come by the power of the holy spirit i come by the fire of the holy ghost the bible says the fire goes before the lord and we say that fire burn the, the dragon of addiction burn the dragon of pornography burn the dragon of sexual immorality burn the dragon of addiction to drugs and and, and substance abuse ah, la prodosotaya. what is the name of that dragon you know the names you know the expression of those dragons go ahead and begin to burn it up through the fire of the holy spirit from the presence of god let the blood of jesus begin to avail for that son for that daughter someone says oh my son is far gone no such thing my brothers and sisters bible says that our high priest he lives forever his lifespan has no end therefore his ability to deliver has no end this this evening we wrestle we wrestle the dragon and we destroy its works come on unmute yourself somebody for the release of our sons and daughters 
Bible says even the te- even the even the the, the the captive of the terrible shall be delivered. Man, of course, Satania, we go after the release of our sons and our daughters. Let like, like this, Satania, those that have been lied to, those that have been deceived by worldliness. Kalaba this, Kenya has been deceived by unwholesome spiritual communities. Those that have been deceived, oh, for by the love of money. Kalaba so Kenya kutashanda, we go after our sons and our daughters. If those that have left them unceremoniously, those that have detached from the families, we come against the, the, the expressions of the dragon. We come against it not by might nor power, but by the spirit. We disengage our sons and our daughters from any engagement contrary to the Christ. Those that are living a life that is not focused, those that are living an aimless life, oh, I'm, I'm, no ambition life. Kenya has a, we take a stand in the Holy Ghost. Come on, church, pray with me, somebody. Rako to Kenya for the total rescue of our sons and our daughters. Neto dose Kenya to Zanana. Ah, Kosaka. Hende mbede se Kenya. O prodo to talk to Kenya. Shada. Nimbo dose Kenya. And de mbede se Kenya. Roko to prodo shika. Edi vege deske. Keri bako sata. Endi vege so kori basata. Ah, koko koko. Ah, koko koko. Anybody out there praying, praying, don't meet yourself, pray with me, somebody. we snatch our son away, we snatch our daughters away, and we tie them to the altar of Korea. We tie them to the spirit of God. 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 in second Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 the Bible says run New Living Translation, run from anything that stimulates youthful lust. We live in a generation where lust is the order of the day. Immorality is the order of the day. Anything that feels good is all right to do without any, without any kind of filter. And this evening, as we pray for our children, we want to establish the filter of the Holy Spirit 
that as they deal with life, as they go on from day to day, they will live with the filter of the Holy Spirit in their lives. And this is why Paul was admonishing uh, Timothy, says run away from anything that stimulates youthful lust. I want you to begin to believe God and, and pray that your children would walk with that power, with, with, with that ability to say no and to run away from youthful lust, youthful lust. Bible says, instead pursue righteousness, righteous living, faithfulness, love, and peace. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 22, it says, enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Lord with pure hearts. He's talking about spiritual communities, that our children will begin to find Jesus enjoyable. Hallelujah. He says, enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Lord with pure hearts. Paul also said to Timothy, keep yourself pure. He wouldn't say that if it was impossible. God never asked us to do something, to do something that we are not able to do. The Bible says that the commandments of God, they are not grievous. And so this evening, as we're praying, we want to begin to pray that the grace to flee youthful loss will, uh, will multiply in, our, in the lives of our sons, our daughters, regardless of their age, in the name of Jesus, that they begin to pursue righteous living, pursue faithfulness, pursue love and peace. And they begin to increase in their enjoyment of companionship of those who call on the Lord with pure heart. Uh, this is such an important part of the lives of our children. This determines also where the, the, the sort of decisions they will make in their career, the sort of decisions they make in their in their in their marriage partners, the sort of decisions they will make concerning what they what they decide to do with their daily lives. And so it is important that they begin to stay within the com within the community of those who call upon the Lord with a pure heart. Ah, uh, be kosata. Jesus said, the God of the harvest is the one to speak to when it comes to the laborers for the harvest that he will send those companions that we're praying about here in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 that God by his spirit will send those laborers will send our children to the right spiritual community in the name of the Lord Jesus where they will be where they will be enhanced in their worship of the Lord where they'll be enhanced in the whole duty of man which is to fear God to worship God and to obey his command Anybody still out there with me? Pray, pray, pray. My Santo Crodo Shegenia do Pradase Kenyana Ido Sokodia Haza. The Bible says our children, they are a beacon of light in a crooked and perverse generation. Oh, Prodose Kenya, when everyone is saying that the 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 the, the wide and the and the and the um the wide the the, the wide <laughs> wide is the way that leads to hell. That's what Jesus said. And so we when everybody feels that that's the right way your child will be part of that remnant that will say hey i'm following the straight and the narrow i don't care how difficult it is i don't care how unpopular it is i'm just going to follow the lord mm. jesus the bible says there remains a remnant the elect of god and i want to i want to believe that i and my children we are part of that remnant hence why isaiah 8, 18 tells us that 8, 16 tells us that you and the children that the lord has given to you you are for signs and for wonders. I want you to unmute yourself. Let's pray into these things. Makato goneke shikeri rokia badusada roko tanya every youth every every area rababa yakhaje Christ no area kuriya sendi sendeli akhaje roso eni akoda mekare goskoda roso akhaje the 
Oh, we make a journey into the into all of the network of our children, into all of their allegiances, everyone they are connected with. We 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 make that journey right now through the power of the Holy Spirit to sanctify every link, every network to our children. Ah, to those children who, because of, of a very sincere connection with somebody, they have gotten into a trap. They've gotten into, into some kind of trouble. I want you to begin to believe God that every connection that your child makes will be undergirded by the power of the Holy Spirit. We pull down the stronghold of Satan that causes our children to be to be taken advantage of, to, to, uh, to be uh, uh, violated maraka supra de shegenia katoza nana and deskedenia yes there are there there are connections that make bring our children to so much risk of violation and some of them have, have actually been violated their emotional life have been tortured their physical lives have been tortured i want you to begin to call oprah dasata kenya for the healing of such children and to call for the prevention of such in, in the lives of all the children Children in our care in the name of Jesus. Rubada Santo Kudia de Shika. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses. But we declare the name of the Lord. We remember the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Rike to Kradashada. Incredesetu. We call upon the name of the Lord concerning our sons and our daughters, concerning their, their safety, their spiritual safety, their emotional safety. 
their, their mental safety. Oh, their, 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 the safety of their mental health, the safety of their feelings, their safety in their soul, the safety of their bodies. We call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. And so we say in every connection, every part, every allegiance, every every association that our children are involved with, we invade with the fire of the Holy Spirit to purify and sanctify it and cause it to be such that enhances their advancement, enhances their development, enhances their relationship with Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Uruba Dagas Katania, some of our children out of naivety, they have they, they have walked into traps. Mandala Dakashada, we go after every child that has been that has been gazumped, that has been pulled into a trap by a lie, by a deception, grudet said taken, or even the ones that have, have walked into it knowing, uh, but, but it is not good for them. So we, we go ahead and we command for their delivery. We insist on their release, because even the lawful captive of the mighty must be delivered. We insist on their delivery in the name of the Lord Jesus. Are you praying for the release of the sons and daughters that have been held captive one way or another maybe an older older family member has lied to that child lured them into doing things that they ought not to do maybe it is the their love for money that has lured that, that has allowed them to be vulnerable whatever the case we command the release of our sons we command the release of our daughters in the name of the lord jesus as the mountains so around Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. We decree the total freedom and the, Kenyana, and the, and the total protection of every child, spirit, soul, and body. We come against the negative influence of social media, and we shut down every portal through which the predator seeks accesses our children. Some children are being groomed online. Some children are being groomed through friends, through family members that they trust. Every agenda of the enemy to trap our children. We bring such an agenda to an abrupt end in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank the Lord. Somebody thank the Lord. Let's thank him. Let's thank him very quickly. Let's thank him tonight. We've gone past the half of the hour. We'll be right back to finish up, but we want to take a few announcements and probably a testimony to encourage us in this work. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Anybody out there who will say amen? The church said Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The amen. church said amen. 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 To amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor Agatha, and thank you everyone for taking the time to join today to pray for your children and to pray for all the children in your care, your spiritual children and all your God children and other children. If you'd like to connect with our ministry, you can uh, go to YouTube and find, our, um, and find our YouTube channel, Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations, and you can, you can like our recordings. And you can um, also subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can share the recordings with your friends and family. You can also connect with us by sending us an email. Our email address is prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. And um, you can contact us for ministry updates. You can send us prayer requests, testimonies, as well as uh, other feedback. We'll be taking communion at the end of this meeting. So please have your communion emblems ready at the end of the meeting. Just want to remind you all of our Monday meeting, Operation Let My People Go slash Task Force Against Cancer. This is a, a one hour meeting where we pray for the nations 
and issues uh, in the nations, as well as for specific uh, um, people who are who are standing against sickness and disease in their lives. My godly seed is our meeting where we pray for people who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. This is once a month, the fourth Saturday of the month. We listen to a testimony and we also pray. So please uh, invite others or join if you would like to do so. Pray with me, somebody, our weekend telephone prayer line is on right now. Uh, you, if you if you need somebody to agree with you according to the word of God, you can call. We have prayer warriors on hand to agree with you, to pray with you, to stand on the word together with you. The prayer the, the prayer telephone line is on your screen and it's on from 2 p.m. to 12 midnight UK time uh, uh, every Saturday and Sunday. Thank you. And with that, I will go ahead and read today's testimony. I just want to thank God for his protection over my son's life. We went to a Bible study at church uh, one Tuesday afternoon, on Tuesday evening in November. My son drove in a different car to join us much later at church. At the end of the meeting, I wanted to, to stay to talk to the pastor. My son wanted to leave right away. And since we were in different cars, he decided to leave. Our two younger children were supposed to leave with him, but for some reason, I kept the other children with me. I was unusually delayed at, at the church. When I finally left, it was raining heavily and it was quite cold. The roads were slippery. It was around 10 p.m. As I was driving, I noticed a car in the dark that had gone into a ditch. I thought it looked like my car. I kept driving, but decided to call my son. To my amazement, he answered, me from the car and said he was in an accident and was struggling to get out of the car. I made a quick U-turn and drove back to where I had seen the car in the ditch. The car had gone off the road. It fell on one side and bounced back into a ditch. It was bashed all over. So I helped him out of the car. It was so miraculous because every part of the car was bashed up except the wheels and one of the lights and were able to drive the car home from there. I thank God that when I took him to hospital, he didn't have any concussion or any broken bones or injuries at all. A number of things happened that night that I'm very grateful to God for. Number one, there are several routes to the house from our church. It just happened that my son and I took the same route home that night. Mm -hmm. It happened that while I, that when I saw a car that I thought looked like ours in the ditch, I had the sensitivity to call him and to check on him. Number two, I thank God that our two younger children were not in the car with him. He had wanted to take them home and I, for some reason, had decided to keep them with me. I don't know what would have happened to them in the back seat because the car fell on its side before bouncing back into a ditch. Number three, in all the time that we drove the bashed up car home at five miles per hour, we didn't encounter a single policeman on the road. We live very near a we live near a very large police station and I didn't want this accident to go on my son's record because he's just a new driver. So I thank God for all of these miracles. I give God all the glory and I thank him for protecting my family. Hallelujah. Over to you, Pastor Agatha. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the tabernacles of the righteous, there shall be shouts of joy. If that testimony doesn't Amen. make you shout, I don't know what. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are the one that preserves our going out and our coming in. And that testimony is proof that you preserve the going out and coming in of our children. For what you have done for one, you are willing to do for all. Thank you, oh God, for your protection over our children in their physical life, in their emotional lives, in their in their intellectual life, in every aspect of their lives, oh God. Thank you, Father, that your protection continues to hem them in so that everything unto what is it falls away from them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are grateful that what God has done in that family, he's doing in the other families represented here in the name of Jesus. We want to begin to pray that your children will be preserved even in their physical and mental health. Libro dose Kenya That the God that protected that young man from, from a physical harm of some of calamity of some sort, that, that he also has provided healing and health for the bodies or and, and the mental health of our children. Some of our children are dealing with mental health issues. This is because the Days are evil. And so the enemy tortures and, and pressures the mental health of people more than ever before. And we want to serve him notice this morning or this evening, depending on where you are calling him from. We want to serve him notice and drive him out. We're not just serving him notice, but we're driving him out without negotiation, without options. We drive sickness and disease out of our children's bodies, out of their mental health in every shape, form, or fashion. In the name of Jesus, we address sicknesses. We address diseases. Jesus said, these signs shall follow those that believe in my name. They will cast out devils. I want you to begin to cast out devils. Jesus said, the spirit of infirmity has bound that woman for 18 years. And so there could, there, there could be spiritual spirit entities responsible for certain sicknesses and diseases. So begin to take the liberty of exercising the authority that Jesus has given to you in Luke chapter 10 verse 19. He said you are allowed to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all of the work of the devil and he's not allowed to have you. Oh tonight we destroy the yokes of sicknesses and diseases. We destroy the burden of, of, of ailments of, 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 the men, uh, uh, of the mind. Ailments of the body, those that have been diagnosed, those that have not been diagnosed, those that are treatable, those that are not treatable, those that are called terminal, those that are called temporary, whatever status they are, sickness has no legal grounds to afflict the child of God. And so we say today, you live with immediate effect. We exercise our authority against all forms of sicknesses and diseases, all forms of malfunctioning of the mind. We come against every demonic oppression responsible for depression, responsible for self harming responsible for suicidal thoughts, responsible for bipolar, responsible for schizophrenia. We release 
release our sons and our daughters from the shackles of physical and mental illnesses in the name of Jesus. Why must they be free? Because Jesus already bled and died. We are not going to accept anything. We are not going to accept that our children should pay for what Jesus already paid for. No, this is unacceptable. We take a stand by the blood. The Bible says we have come to the blood of sprinkling that is speaking better things than the blood of Abel. Every, every, everything that that blood is speaking is speaking health, is speaking life, is speaking vitality, is speaking restoration. We declare that the blood of Jesus speaks in the favor of our sons and our daughters so that the rise tall and strong above sickness and disease of any shape, form or kind in the name of Jesus. Is anybody out there whose children deserve to be reset in their health, in the health of their physical and mental health? I want you to begin to omit yourself and speak over the lives of your sons and daughters. Tell them that their organs have been designed to function properly according to the word of God. Tell them that the tissues and cells in their body have been designed to function properly according to the word of God. Some of them are dealing with thoughts of failure, thoughts of inadequacy, thoughts of, 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 of low self-esteem, lack of confidence. When the Bible says God has not given you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and the spirit of love and the spirit of a sound mind. We superimpose every every contrary expression of the mind. We superimpose the mind of Christ over the minds of our children so that they yield to the thoughts of Christ. The Bible says God is the one that fulfills the length of our days. Therefore, everything that constitutes that constitutes Jim said, if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask, and God will give freely and liberally. And we ask for wisdom, O Prada Sekenia. We ask for a download of wisdom for the care of our children's health, their mental and physical health. Lord, that they, that there be a download of, of wisdom for our caregivers, Robo Nehata Sata, those that have been allocated to look after our children's health physically and mentally. We pray concerning all the researches going on in, 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 in 
in in uh, uh, investigating and, and 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 trying to find solutions to to health issues upon the earth lord we pray for as many as are making this effort that are that are researching into finding solutions oh god we ask that you download your your mighty heavenly wisdom into their hearts so that they begin to find these solutions and provide it for our sons and our daughters in the name of the lord jesus we we pray for all the caregivers of our children that they will operate in the wisdom of God. They will operate in the in the in the in in the solution providing wisdom of God. God, that by the power of the Spirit of God, such knowledge becomes made available to our sons and our daughters. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to pray for every child right now as they begin to make life choices. There, there are things that are life choices they they are life they they are they are, uh, 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 they, they, they are life shaping destiny shaping choices choices like where which career choices like where do you live choices like who do i marry i just want us to group it together as we begin to bring our prayers to a close and say lord for all the life changing choices that my children are going to make that my my, my nieces and nephews are going to make that all these children are going to make lord i bring them on that so that you will lead on those decisions, oh God. The Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. In the Old Testament, God said to Isaiah, He said, Though if you had listened to me, you will have peace like a river. I want you to understand that choosing the right, the, the, choosing, choosing God's uh uh God's choice, following God's choice for where to live is so important because God would have stacked up treasures and provision for where he chose for you than where you choose for yourself. And so this morning or this evening, regardless of where you're praying for, where you're praying from, I want you to pray that as your children begin to make life choices, the choice of school, the choice of career, the choice of subjects, as they begin to make all those decisions that form, that, that, that begin to play play out as one's lives as you as you get older that those decisions will be embedded in the leadership of the holy spirit or meet yourself pray as we begin to bring our prayers to a close and you grab your communion emblem so that we can seal it in communion for your children by them and say this is the word of the lord to you concerning the life choices that you ought to make that do, 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 do. Come on, church. Anybody out there who will pray that, Lord, all the life choices that my children need to make, that my sons and daughters need to make, that my to make, all the children that are standing before, as they make it life choices, don't make it by the leading of the Holy Spirit. The leading of the Holy Spirit, 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 Yeah, 
Pariada Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 says, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Your ears will hear the voice of the Lord behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. I will, I, I'm hoping that that is what you're saying over every child, that whether you need to turn to the right or to the left, you will hear the voice of the Lord in your own ears saying to you, this is the way, walk in it, and you receive grace to follow and to obey the Lord in the name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to the communion table. We thank you because access to this communion table is not by might nor power, but it is by the blood of the Lamb. And we know that the blood of the Lamb cost you a great deal. So we come with reverence to partake of the new covenant, the, the meal of the new covenant, the holy meal of the new covenant. Lord, as we partake, we remember the Lord. We remember his death. We remember his burial, his resurrection, and his ascension to glory. We remember that he's seated at the right hand of majesty and high, making intercession for us forever. We thank you, O oh God, that you have brought us into a, a, a new covenant that is established on better promises. And we say concerning our children that every, every benefit of the new covenant is theirs in the name of Jesus. So that as we break this bread, we say their bodies will never be broken again. And as we drink of this cup, we say that the, all the benefits of the blood of our Lord Jesus becomes their living reality in Jesus' precious, precious name. Amen and amen, amen, amen. This is the way. Walk in it. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's all we have time for tonight. Benika so Kariana, just remember that all our prayers are recorded. You can relieve these moments on by going to use the resources online. Go ahead, subscribe to our channel, like and share. We appreciate you making a bit of noise about what's going on here. Let other people know God has given us a mandate to make to provide him a platform where he can continue to reach the children all over the world through the faith of men and women like yourself. God bless you for your commitment. And I know that you will not labor in vain because the scriptures cannot be broken. Let's share the grace in fellowship so that you can have your Sunday to yourself. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ. In the love of the love God. God. Amen. 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 Amen.